Wendy made some delicious brownies for me today. So one of our questions is, will our goats want to try, try stop eating the camera? <laughs> you don't want to eat the camera, you want to eat the brownies. So one of the questions for today is, will our goats want to try these brownies? They're so good. They're not for goats. No. No. People food. Oh. You don't know what you're missing. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Made with love by Wendy. Too bad for you. It's just too bad for you. <laughs> Oscar. No brownies for Oscar either. No. Oh. Delicious. Mmm. Sorry. Almost. You can almost taste it. Almost taste it. Mm. Mm. Oh. No brownies for goats. Sorry. Sorry. No brownies for goats. No. Mm. All done. Sorry, nothing left. Check it out. Buddy's chair is back. I asked our resident troll to bring this chair back up here if he ever needed to see or talk to me again. Let's go say hello to him down at the Troll Mound compound. Hey, buddy. I hope everything's going okay. Oh, there you are. How's everything going with your new lady friend? We got married. Congratulations, buddy. Where did you end up going? For your honeymoon. Crater Lake. That's great. Crater Lake National Park is somewhere everyone should go at least once. But tell me, buddy, how did you get Mrs. Buddy to move back here after being at such a such a glorious spot. Crater Lake is pretty special, but it's always nice to come home. For me, there were just too many human beings running around taking selfies all over the place all day long. I've been meaning to ask you. I learned the other day that you can see shenanigan whether or not I can. Can you tell me if she's around right now? I don't see her anywhere right now. It's great that everything is working out so well with you and Mrs. Buddy. I was wondering if you could tell me what Shenanigan really thinks about me. I mean, how does she act when I can't see her? My friend, that girl is crazy about you. Usually, when you're out and about on the property, she is hanging around, smiling up at you, blinking her big eyes, sometimes giggling to herself and acting kind of shy. I'd have to say, she is smitten as a kitten. Haven't you noticed how quickly she appears every time you ask her to? That girl is really into you, Brian. Thanks. I think she's great too. It's good to have an outside perspective though. So tell me, buddy, why did you want to see me? You did put that chair back up by the pond ledge. I've taken your advice about respect and dignity. And let me tell you, it has brought me 
heaps of honor and popularity. I've been asked to run for sheriff and the king himself has appointed me as a special advisor on humanity. I was just wondering if I have any questions about humans, can I count on your support? It would be my pleasure, buddy. I've got a lot of questions for you. If your society has a king, why do you need elections? Is Mrs. Buddy on board with you running for sheriff? Will you be making a lot more money as the king's advisor and sheriff? I'd hate to think you might move away to fancier digs. The king is in charge overall, but because sheriffs are a little more hands-on when it comes to dispute resolution, it's a good idea to have community support for them. So that's why we elect our sheriffs. Mrs. Buddy is very supportive. In fact, she's my campaign manager. She's really the one with the political experience, seeing as how she is the king's daughter. Trolls don't really need money as such. For us, the only real currency is honor. And we're planning on staying here for a very long time. Wow, you married a princess. I'm gonna to have to let that sink in for a little while. What sort of advice did she give you about the election? She wants me to play to my strengths with what she calls retail politics. Meeting folks face to face, I guess by treating folks with respect and dignity, I can show them how honorable I am. In fact, that's the tagline she came up with for our campaign, dignity, respect, honor. My first impulse for a, a good campaign slogan was, may the best troll win, cause it's gonna be me. I'd listen to her buddy, and I can't tell you how important this is. Everything is so much easier when you have smart, capable women in your life. Bonus points, if she adores you and wants to be supportive of you. Shenanigan. Hello, boys. Were you talking about me? We were, but did you know Buddy here married a princess and is running for sheriff? Really? I wish you all the happiness and luck in the world, buddy. I need to apologize, Shenanigan, for my boorish behavior before. I shouldn't assume that others will want what seems to me to be obvious that they should want. Don't give it another thought, buddy. It's like water under the tree bridge. I just heard Brian say something about smart, capable women and thought he must be talking about me. And don't forget adoring and supportive too, little lady. That too. I should be going though. I'm just glad we could clear up this whole thing about who should be with whom around here. Tell Mrs. Buddy hello for me. You've come a really long way, buddy. Apologizing when you should is a great way to show respect and recognize the dignity of others. I'd like to be a part of your campaign, buddy. Tell you what, I'll print a poster and put it out by the road where it'll get a lot of visibility. But tell me, buddy, first, is the sheriff's job dangerous? No, the disputes sheriffs have to resolve are generally pretty minor. I'd be doing some elderly wellness checks and going on patrol for safety issues mostly. Hey, if I'm elected, maybe you could let me borrow your camera so I could do a troll on patrol video for your YouTube thing. That sounds great. I should get going myself. It's a nice day and I've got a lot of yard work to take care of. Oh, I almost forgot, buddy. Are you running against anyone? Yeah, but that nickname you and Shenanigan gave me is a real advantage. Remember, 
trolls have a phobia about revealing our names. So it's really easy for me to have name recognition with something like Buddy when the other guy won't say his name in public and has to be referred to as the other guy. Springtime out here means the weeds will get out of control. Every year I tell myself, this year I'm gonna stay on top of it, but that just never seems to happen. Fortunately, our chickens love eating these things. It's a lot more fun to pull weeds when you can feed them to the chickens and save a little money on the feed costs.